Yo what's going on guys, your boy Max here and welcome back to another Fortnite video. So today we're going to be talking about how to get better at W keying and how to generally just W key properly and I'm going to be sharing some of the best tips and tricks that you guys can implement into your game and get better at getting those W key kills in tournaments, pubs, arena, literally any game mode. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I really want to mention is the fact that your mechanics play a large large role when you want to w key and kill a lot of people in a single game i mean the reasoning for it is obvious you're gonna take a lot of fights and your aim building and editing needs to be on point for you to take all those fights on and you know finish them successfully so it's really no surprise that aim and box fighting especially this season is gonna be pretty much the key to getting those w key kills now the box fight meta has actually changed with the addition of the charge shotgun and the little slight nerf of the attack shotgun um i mean everyone is kind of used to the instant impact damage uh weapons like the pump and the attack and the addition of the charge shotgun definitely changed that around a little bit you can't just jump into someone's box and pump them for 200 now you kind of have to power it up most of the time if you want to hit anything above 140 150 damage and it's quite a unique addition to Fortnite to be honest I really really like what they're doing but let's get back to the video uh, what I really wanted to say is the fact that you guys need to practice your aim and box fights in this meta especially this season is literally suited for those that have the best aim because you can't really 200 all of the time um, even when you do power the charge shotgun up it's quite rare that you do get those 200 pump shots so it's going to be key that you guys hit as many of your shots with the attack or charge shotgun as possible and uh, you're going to be needing to uh, kind of move around and build a lot for that type of stuff if that makes any sense and that's because you can't just deal one super hard shot and then finish it up with the SMG you kind of need to go after it and hit one solid shot and then kind of follow up with two or three more that's how the attack works this season anyway if someone has 200 shield but I'm not entirely convinced that the um, charge shotgun is as reliable either but it is a very very nice gun and I love using it but with that being said let's move on to one of the things that you guys can do to improve your box fighting and that's going to be peace control Oh boy have I avoided this throughout my time when I've been playing Fortnite. It's just one of the hardest things to get down and um, you know actually think about in game. People like Benji Fishy and Mr. Savage just surprise me with how their brain works and uh, how clever they are in game to you know analyze what tiles are theirs and which aren't and then go ahead and kind of block off their opponent to the point where they have nowhere to run and they're just gonna get eliminated either way. This skill has quite a steep learning curve and that's why i think a lot of you should at least try and you know progress on it now and even though it might seem a bit useless because that's what i thought at the start to be honest you know it's pretty cool to block someone off and stuff but why not go for the shots instead it actually saves you a lot of time in the long run of the fight and uh, if you block someone off you might waste a couple of milliseconds and stuff like that but if you were to go for the shot and your opponent would just block it off then that's a couple seconds wasted instead of the milliseconds that you'd waste by you know just putting a wall or a cone above your opponent so peace control is definitely one of the key things this season for sure and it probably will evolve down the line as well and it will be something that's even more important in the future as well as peace control i've figured out that tracking your opponent and kind of getting into your opponent's head and thinking what they are going to do next is something that's going to work wonders as well this season it's always been an important skill and something that i looked at when you know fighting your opponents tracking them is super important especially in shotgun fights because you don't want to you know just get jumped on and uh, 200 pumped and this skill kind of just comes with practice you can't just get it out of nowhere audio cue in this game is not the greatest but it's there to help you so do make sure you're using headphones when you play fortnite and as well as that just try and pay attention to how your opponent moves and it will definitely definitely help you out as well as that i want to talk about starting damage and how important it really is to have a high advantage and a clear view of your opponent when you initiate the fight this is absolutely crucial now because you want to make the fight easier for yourself you don't want to drag it out for too long when you're w keying because you're 
gonna try and you know get as many kills as you can in a game and for that reason having a clear view of your opponent is super super important so that you have the best chance of lasering them and setting yourself up for success in the long run of the fight this could help you save meds and stuff because if you laser your opponent and they actually go on the defensive then you're gonna have a much much higher chance of uh, just jumping into their box and you know getting that last touch and finishing them off i've mentioned unknown army a lot recently um and i'm still amazed at how he initiates his fights he usually takes off like more than 100 damage off of his opponents um before he even you know gets into the close range uh, with his shotgun and smg and that pretty much sets him up for such high kill games that a lot of people are just unable to carry out anymore. I've made a video on starting damage in the past and how you can actually deal more damage when starting the fight so do check that out that will be in the top right hand corner right now and let's finally move on to the tip that kind of relates to that starting damage which is you have to think about how much you hit your opponent for and keep that in mind throughout the fight. Now say for example you have a blue AR and you shoot somebody for 33 twice and then you crack their shield. The likelihood is that person does not have a big pot with them because they would have popped it by now and they would have had full shield and you wouldn't have knocked it off. So the most they have is minis and that pretty much lets you know that if you do hit a solid headshot with the, a charge shotgun or attack and then maybe finish it off with the SMG that will pretty much wrap up the fight. And that's something you'd be surprised but a lot of people don't consider. And as well as that you need to be putting pressure onto your opponents when you do hit their shield off while we're on the topic. Uh, you need to keep spraying them when they're trying to get their heals off and then trying to jump into their box uh, because the reality is if you're low and you're trying to pot like the opponent in this case you're going to be under pressure because you're going to know that if you do just stick the mini your opponent is likely to lazy you. So yeah that pretty much kind of wraps it up. Um, a lot of stuff off the dome here and I feel like this video was actually quite useful. If it was then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on to never miss another upload from your boy ever again as always and before you guys do go make sure you guys are using the code MAXGAMER7 in the Fortnite app store if you'd like to support me and the channel at no extra cost whatsoever but do bear in mind that the code does reset every every 14 days but with that being said the video comes to an end and i'll see you guys in the next one peace